so let's continue with our playlist but before that hey everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are doing extremely well so the problem that we will be solving today is rotating a given linked list so you'll be given a linked list and you'll be given the value k your task is to rotate the linked list by k times so over here k is 2 i'll have to rotate it two times so if i rotate it one time this is how the linked list will look like so what happens is from the back one element comes out comes to the front and this gets shifted rightwards by one place each so this is how it will look like after one rotation so on this if i do one more rotation the last element will come at the front and the front elements will get shifted by one place ahead so can i say after two rotations this is how the updated linked list will look like so your task is to return the updated head after doing k rotations so you might have a question hey what is the range of k so the range of k can be anything like in this particular example the length is 5 k can be 1 k can be 5 k can be 10 k can be 100 k can be 1000 as well k can be anything but as of now we will try solving this problem for smaller values of k once you have done that we will see how can we solve it for larger values so k is given as 2 let's observe what is happening the last two nodes are at the front but this is linked list we don't care about that if we can see the link changes i think our job will be done so this is the tail node its next is pointing to null after two rotation after two rotations the tail node its next is pointing to the initial head this is the initial head so the first job is to recognize the tail node we can easily do it by doing a simple traversal we start from here and we reach here so we can easily recognize the tail node once you have done that its next is pointing to null instead of it instead of it i'll make sure this is pointing to the head this is pointing to the head so we can do that let's try to do it instead of this i'll make sure that this is pointing to the head done what after this let's visualize we have a three it's pointing to null we have a 3 here which is pointing to 4 correct so i'll have to change this link k is given as 2 so if you see the last two nodes are eliminated if you eliminate the last two nodes from your vision this is the node right right before the last two nodes so can i say if the total length is 5 if i eliminate 2 i need the third node i need the third node first second third i need the third node so i'll have to get into that third node again by traversal i can reach the third node imagine you are standing at this node which is the third node now what is your job your job is to make sure this is pointing to null this is pointing to null but wait wait you need to return the updated head you need to return the updated head so what you can do is once you're standing over here you can straight away say hey this will be my updated head you can change the head from here and you can take it there once you have done that once you have done that you can remove it yes you can remove it and you can make sure temporary is next is pointing to null temporary is next is pointing to null done what will happen so your head is here this is like 4 5 then goes to 1 then goes to 2 then goes to 3 which is exactly this particular link list done and dusted you might be thinking hey what if the value of k is large what if the value of k is more than the length or its equivalent to length so let's go back a couple of steps so we know how to solve this particular problem for smaller values of k now we need to think about larger values of k what if the value of k is given as 5 which is basically the length of the linked list what will happen can i say if the length is given as 5 and if i try rotating if i try rotating i'll come back to the original configuration you can try rotating it for 5 times you will see that you come back to the original configuration so we see that if k is equivalent to the length we don't need to do anything we return the head what if k is 10 it's basically you rotate once for 5 it'll come back to the original again you rotate for 5 times it'll again come back to the original so you eventually come back to the original even if you rotate it for 10 times if you rotate it for 15 rotate it for 5 another 5 another 5 each like every time you come back to the original configuration so if it is a multiple 
if it is a multiple of the length if it is a multiple of the length very important if it is a multiple of the length it comes back to the original configuration so you don't need to do anything you just return the given head so that's something that you have to do if your k is modulated with length you don't need to do anything you straight away return the head that's an edge case that you have to handle what if k is given as 13 can i say i can write it as 5 plus 5 plus 3 which technically means coming back to its original coming back to its original and you just need to do three rotations you don't need to do 13 rotations you just need to do three rotation a three is a smaller number for which we have solved we have solved this particular problem for smaller numbers none understood got it so we have solved this problem for smaller values of k and for larger values of k as well so what is the next thing that we need to do we need to make sure that the algorithm works what do we need what do we need we need the length so that we can determine this and also we can reduce the value of k in case it's a larger value also we need the tail because we need to do the changes in the length so let's take uh, tail to be at the head initially let's take the length to be one let's try moving tail will go here and length will be updated to length two let's move tail and length will go to the next and length will be updated to three tail will go to the next and length will be updated to four tail will go to the next and length will be updated to five understood so tail is standing at the tail and a first traversal is completed. So you have the length. Depending on the length, you can perform your edge case. Right? If k is given as, let's say 14. If k is given as 14. Doesn't matter. What you need to do is, 14 modulo 5, you'll get it. Right? So this is your length. Perfect. You have the tail. What is the next thing that you'll do? The next thing that you'll do is, you'll make sure that the tail's next is pointing to the head. Very simple, tails next to head. So one step is done, that is taking the tail and making sure it's next is pointing to the initial head. Because after rotation, that is how it will look like. What is the next job? The new last node, or rather the new tail node, it should be pointing to null. So let's first locate the new tail node. That's very simple. You have to leave out the last two elements. So if the length is 5 minus k, so you have to find the third element. You have to find the third element you can easily do by traversal like you can keep a temporary here and you can keep a counter equal to one let's try moving temporary will move here counter will increase let's again try moving temporary will move here counter will increase and this is where you reach and once you have reached here you know that temporary like you're standing at that new last row once this is done you can update your head to this one and that's very simple Temporaries next will be your new head. Once this is done, make sure temporaries next is pointing to null. None understood. Quite simple. So I'll be writing down the pseudo code. It won't be language specific. In case you want the C++, Java, Python or JavaScript codes, the link will be in the description. What do we need initially? We need the length. Let's assign the length to be 1. And we need the tail. So let's assign the tail to be head. Correct? Let's try to traverse while tails next is not null because I need to make sure I reach the tail not beyond it so till it's not null I can do a length plus plus and at the same time I can say tail equal to tails next perfect after this what will happen is I'll have the length and I'll also have the tail in case in case k is directly divisible by length we don't do anything, we will return the head. If it is not the case, then we do the link changes. How will we do the link changes? But before that, please make sure that k is modulated by length. In case k is a larger value. What is the first thing that we will do? We'll make sure that the tails next is pointing to head. Done. So I can say that the first step of the operation is done. The first step is done. Now what is your next step? To locate the new last node which will basically be your new tail. Can I probably write a function that finds me the nth node? I'll pass on the head. I need to find length minus k. 5 minus 2, the third node, the third node. 
write a function like a generic function that will find me it. Once I've done this, what is the job? My head will be updated if you remember. The head will be updated because four will be my new head. Please update your head. Your head will be new last node next. Perfect. What after this? This new last node. This is a, this is your new last node, right? It has to point to null. That is why it's the last node, right? Done. And once this is once this is done, you can return the head of the linked list. Perfect. Quite simple. So this is the entire pseudo code. Now it's time to go back into the code editor, and you can see that I've written down the edge case. What if the linked list is empty, or if uh, there are zero rotations? In that case, return the given head itself, and I've written down the generic nth node function where you take the count equal to one and if it's equivalent to your k. Return that node, otherwise you move ahead, increase the count and you move ahead. Quite simple. And this stays the same. What I'll do is I'll hit the submit button and this will be accepted. Let's analyze the time complexity. I can say this is definitely a big of n for sure. Am I using anything else? Probably here. What if at the worst case, k is one. In that case, to find the nth node, you'll have to traverse the entire linked list near both. So I can say big O of n over here. And this nth node at the worst case might take big O of n. So the overall complexity is big O of 2n. Any extra space? No. So that's big O of 1. So the time complexity is big O of 2n and the space complexity is big O of 1. So if you're still watching, I'm very sure that you've understood everything. And if that is the case, Please, please do consider giving us a like and if you're new to our channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's experience our other video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.